You know what I wanted to have for an opening act in Philadelphia? War of the Mummers. We tried to get warring mummer factions to march through the audience as our opening act uh, at the Spectrum, and the mummers have sadly declined. It could have been a great spectacle, but the mummers didn't want to have anything to do with it. Fort Richmond from Kensington and from all over the Delaware Valley and King of Prussia as well at their headquarters the Ukrainian American string band will return with the replay and more of the string band competition after this. December 91 Ford has the best selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best sellers year in clearance. Hurry, it all ends January 3rd. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two-for-one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for $19.94. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. The Philadelphia Mummers String Band Association proudly presents the 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Philadelphia Civic Center. Come and enjoy the music and magic of the 16 great Philadelphia String Bands. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and at the Civic Center or by calling your local string band. The 1994 String Band Show of Shows, April 9th through the 17th at the Civic Center.
everything. And we mean everything. It's on sale right now at Silo. Plus, get 0% interest for six months on everything over $299.99 right now at Silo. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummer's Day Parade is brought to you in part by Prism and Garden State Cable TV, by your area Infinity dealers, and by your Meineke muffler shops. For the third year in a row, Suburban Cable is proud to bring you the Philadelphia Mummers Parade. And we're back live with the Mummers Parade for our Delaware Valley audience and our national audience on the Travel Channel. And Dick Sheeran is standing by with the replay of the last band. Dick. Yes, indeed. The Ukrainian-American string band, Larry, Captain George Koresko, Jr. First, congratulations on a fine performance. Thank you very much. We're going to run a little replay. You might be able to see it in that screen. How did you how did you think it, it went for you? Well, it took a lot of work, but uh, it felt real good going into it. So It's called In the Bag. And uh, it, it was kind of a little bit of everything, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It went from armored cars to tea bags to the bagpipers, and you saw it all right did, there. Did that present an extra challenge to do all that, all that uh, other stuff? Trying to work it all together because it's a unique theme yeah. and uh, not been done that that I know of. A lot of women in your band. Yes, yes. We probably got about 15, 20 women. In our and band. you make your own suits? All year, yep. All right, and this piece is probably one of the larger ones, isn't it? Yeah, I would think so. It took a lot of time. Captain, thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations. Happy thank New you. Year. We'll go back to the booth. Coming up next, the Greater Overbrook String Band with their theme On the Road Again and Captain Harry Hill. Give us an assessment on this, Joe Deegan. It's a great theme, On the Road Again. Uh, it was done years ago by one other band. They had done, they'd done very well with it. And uh, Captain Harry Hill, in his fourth year, is looking to... Uh, Make some history for Overbrook. Uh, they've never won a first prize. Last year they placed 16th. They have 56 marchers on the street. You'll notice the uh, captain is the driver dressed in white sequins and dark blue with red and blue turkey feathers. Here they are, Greater Overbrook String Band at the 1994 Mummers Parade.
big round of applause for the Greater Overbrook String Band. Captain Harry Hill, who is a milkman from Deckdale's Dairy. Good job, Joe. Very interesting. A nice theme, uh, well thought out, and uh, very active. You also got a real good sense of the concept of the pit band and the perimeter band. You can see how the pit band works together without back pieces, how the perimeter band has the back pieces. The pit band is able to move a little bit more with their choreography as a result. And speaking of choreography and the captain and all the hoopla in the post-performance stage, here is Dick Sheeran standing by for a little replay action, Dick. Uh, captain Harry Hill, uh, Larry, he's just kind of making his way over here. Captain, we can just uh, see you for a couple of minutes. I know you're a little winded. Congratulations for a fine performance. By the way, that uh, truck you were uh, driving, that was uh, something else. Yes, it was. That's my semi. <laughs> Is that your semi? That's you my semi. Do you deliver, mil deliver milk in that? Yes, I do. <laughs> we got a little replay of your performance there. I know you're still winded, but yeah. there seems to be an extra choreography this year. Oh, yeah, a lot more this year, a lot more detail. This is the first year we worked with a, a whole lot of pops, and it really looks great because uh, Oh, I just hope so. <laughs> did you did you feel like did, what did it feel like when you were going through it? Did you feel like everything was going right? Oh yeah, everything was going right all the way up the street all day long. It was just beautiful. The band did great all day. All right. And I'm telling you. All right, Captain. Thank you very much for a great job. Thank Take you. Take care. Happy New Year, happy everybody. New Year. All, all right. right. We'll go back. We'll have you back. Joe, that is a happy and uh, tired captain. Hardworking Harry Hill, uh, he certainly did a job out there. And uh, the band also wants me to mention that John Milloway, a band member, was inducted into the Mummers Hall of Fame this year. It ha you know, Joe, it has to really take a, a lot of practice to be able to fine tune the performance so that it really does click together like the captain was talking about. We researched that and actually it takes each band 7,000 man hours per year to put this four and a half minute show on. And that's a true number, not a Mummers number. And right now, we're standing by for the performance of the Ventnor String Band. Captain Bob McLaughlin, 55 marches, 10 marshals, the clubhouse, and the American Legion post in Summers Point, New Jersey, near the Jersey Shore. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if you can catch it on the screen, but we're talking color here and lots of it. Beautiful pastels. The theme this year is, the st is storybook land. So you can look for Humpty Dumpty, Mother Goose, Old King Cole, and other fairy tale favorites and they're going to be flipping through a bedtime storybook. The captain, of course, dressed all in white with red and blue trim. His back piece, as you can see, in nighttime theme of moon and stars, surrounded by some 12 dozen white plumes. It is a day for plumes and color and excitement as we listen to the Ventnor String Band.
of applause for the Ventner String Band. Their clubhouse located in uh, the Clark Ellison Post 352, American Legion, Summers Point, New Jersey. And coming up, and coming up, we are going to have the replay of this band and also the Woodland String Band still ahead as we continue with our coverage of the 1994 Mummers Parade. There's a new kind of energy around here. A company that can meet your energy needs well into the next century without building even one new plant, which means no large increase in the cost of your service. A company whose oil-fired generators will also run on natural gas, another way to help keep your bill down. There's a new energy company around here, and a new name. Pico Energy, focusing our energies on you. You still have time to save thousands on Sheehy Better Idea cars. Sheehy Volume Buying Power saves you at least $4,000 on Tempos and Topazes, at least $5,000 on Aerostars, at least $6,000 on Tauruses and Sables, at least $13,000 on Lincolns. Through Monday, January 10th only at Sheehy Ford Lincoln Mercury in Lebanon, Sheehy Lincoln Mercury in Springfield, Sheehy Ford Northeast Philadelphia, Sheehy Ford Wilmington, Delaware, and Sheehy Ford Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. Unless one of these emblems is on your car or truck, you probably paid too much. Now you can share in the color and excitement of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade by wearing the official Mummers logo apparel. It's so easy, you don't even have to leave your front row seat. Simply call the operators here at John Wanamakers who are standing by to take your order for the official 1994 Mummers Parade sweatshirts, polos, t-shirts, and caps. This cozy Mummers sweatshirt at just $15 is perfect for parade watching or just going casual with class. The stylish polos are a terrific gift idea for just $15, along with these all-cotton t-shirts, yours for only $12, and this 100% cotton twill mummer's hat, tailor-made for weekend softball games or the golf course, is just $10. You can purchase this collector's clothing using Visa, MasterCard, or your gold Wanamaker's charge plate. So start the new year in style by calling 1-800-955-0020. Happy New Year and welcome everyone once again to the 1994 Mummers Parade. I'm Pat Shiraki with Larry Kane and our special analyst for the String Bands Division, Joe Deegan. Joe, the first five bands that we had an opportunity to see, to witness here on the street, are really the heart and soul and the spirit of mummering and string band performances, aren't they? They're, they're here competing and they're, they're doing traditional things and uh, you'll see themes change as the day goes on and different things happen in front of us here. And we're waiting for the replay now of the Ventner String Band with Dick Shearer. Dick? Indeed, we have Captain Bob McLaughlin of the Ventner String Band. First of all, Captain, nice job. Thank you very did much. Did you feel good about the performance? I think we did the best we could. I think we did pretty good. All right. Let's More take a look. Stand. Let's take a look at the replay of the uh, the actual performance. Now, you were telling me about the kids. You you wanted them to get to do something. We had been working with the kids real close. They're very young kids, and uh, they wanted to be in it. And we we worked with them all year long. They, I think they did pretty good from what I can see. I got yeah. a block out. This is their first time. First time. All first right. Time. 
So you feel good about it? I think we did pretty good. Captain, thank you very thank much. You very Congratulations. Much. Happy New Year thank to you. you. All right. We'll go back to the booth. And up next, waiting to go on, the Woodland String Band. And we understand the extensive makeup this year took four hours to apply, so watch the faces when you listen to the music. The theme this year is Scared Silly. This is a parody on scary things. The captain is David E. Anderson, and the Woodland performance begins a string of about eight performances where you're gonna see the competition getting tremendously intense. Woodland finished eighth last year, and the next several bands all finished within the top 10. And there is a real drive on the street to be the best that they can be. Here we have the Woodland String Band from 1994.
what a performance. The Woodland String Band captain David Anderson Jr., first year as captain. His father was the captain for 29 years. He started marching at the age of three, and Joe Deegan, the makeup and the faces are just awesome and extraordinary in this band. Unbelievable. The makeup job must have taken uh, more than the four hours they talked about. Uh, they just look great out there. It fits the theme perfectly. And the multidimensional uh, aspects of the performance, uh, going from Frankenstein to the Munsters uh, uh, to all the witches, just incredible in there. Sure was. And one thing that the band did, which was good for them, is they got up very close to the judges' stand, got right in front of them. And he won a third prize for captain in 92 and a second prize in 93. So he really does his homework, takes if, his dance lessons seriously. And if you're watching on the Travel Channel uh, deep in the heart of uh, Texas today, or anywhere in the southwest of the United States, you'll be able to relate to what's going on here because the Uptown String Band is going to keep its eyes looking south and west to the heart of cowboy country and to bring you a, a bit of the old west and cactus and uh, some surprises behind that barroom door. Uh, as <laughs> that saloon door as we continue our coverage or live coverage of the 1994 Mummers Parade. In case you've just joined us, we are broadcasting live here on Channel 3 in Philadelphia and on the Travel Channel, the 1994 Mummers Parade nonstop from 8 a.m. Uh, to whatever tonight. Uh, we will, of course, uh, be off the air in time for the uh, national championship game, the Orange Bowl tonight. But right now we're watching the crowd, and the crowd is really thickened here at City Hall. And the, the, the signal has been given... Apparently, I heard the whistle, and the Uptown String Band is beginning its 94 presentation.
the uptown string band from Bucks County. And, and Joe Deegan, you can understand why Jamie Caldwell finished second in the county. The rest of the string bands when we continue right after this. Here's is with Fralinger this year for the first time, and uh, they're going for the goal. That's their theme, the captain, Bill Bowen, Jr., and this should be an exciting presentation. Here's Fralinger. five performances that we're going to see on the street today. I don't doubt that, and I heard that uh, Bill Bowen is now Nugget Bowen, and uh, <laughs> it's bad enough when Frail and Repeat you playing the music, now they're going to sing and try I to beat us. It's fabulous. That probably Great is going to have to be a new category now, when the uh, band sings in harmony. They finished third last year, and uh, they really yeah, have been uh, working is going to try to corral the California captain right now. 
after a spectacular performance by the Freilinger String Band. Yeah. By Marshalls, music director Tom Gorzinski, and uh, this should be quite a, uh, a look at uh, Aqua. Uh, we've got a, a, a color of uh, turquoise there and white. And so many plumes on the captain's back pieces. I always think that this is fascinating to take note of. In some cases, these back pieces have 50 dozen plumes. Isn't that right, Joe? That's true, and it's a very, very big investment uh, to use those plumes, and uh, that's why sometimes you see bands wearing fewer back pieces each year, but uh, broom rollers pretty well decked out with their feathers. To show you the regional uh, atmosphere of this, uh, of this parade, for those of you watching nationally, uh, this organization is uh, from National Park, New Jersey, which is in the South Jersey area across from Philadelphia. Uh, more and more we see a regional look at this parade, not just the city of Philadelphia, but people coming from all over the area. That's very true. We draw from all areas in and around Philadelphia. Peter A. Brumall String Band, Cornucopia, 1994, and here they go.
the Peter A. Bruma String Band with Cornucopia. Doing a terrific job, especially with some of the young people right up front in their chorus line. Great to see those young people involved in this parade. They're the future of uh, Mummery in the Philadelphia area. And I'm Larry Kane, along with Pat Chiraki and Joe Deegan, and we'll return right after this for more live, non-stop coverage of the 1994 Mummers. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of PRISM for just 1994. Call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now for three solid months of great PRISM movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to PRISM, the great two-for-one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of PRISM for $19.94. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1-800-CABLE-ME right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best seller year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best seller year in clearance. Hurry it all ends January 3rd. When I got pregnant with Timmy 10 years ago, we almost chose not to bring him into the world. We were young and unmarried. We didn't have much money, and at the time, it seemed like the right decision. But now, every time I look at him, I can't imagine life without him. Life, what a beautiful choice. This portion of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Day Parade is brought to you in part by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. By Pico Energy, there's a new kind of energy around here. By American Honda, who has been making quality cars in America for the past 11 years. And by Prism and Greater Media Cable TV. you are just joining us, you are watching the 1994 Mummers Parade live from Center City, Philadelphia. We welcome all of you who are from across the country with the Travel Channel who might be tuning us in. You are watching the String Band Division. And for a replay on the Brumall String Band, and with the captain, here's Dick Sheeran. Captain Peter A. Brumall Jr., how do you assess that performance? It felt, it felt good from here. Yeah, it was a good, uh, good job. We were very satisfied with that performance. Let's take a look at the replay. How about the kids in front, the, the uh, newsboys and the uh, newsgirls? They're uh, all members of the band. They uh, go to the local uh, grammar school and uh, the high school, junior high school, senior high school. And how about your dad still in the band? Yeah, my dad was the police officer bringing us up through the line. Okay, what about that theme? Uh, anything, did, did something just strike you to do that theme? or? Uh, that was about our third choice. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to do something a little different. Uh, that's why we came up with that uh, theme, Cornucopia, which is, means corner of plenty. And we just kind of picked some things that you would typically see on a corner in New York. Captain, thank you very I much. I just want to say New happy New Year's to everybody. And hello, Josh, Ryan, and Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. We'll go back to the booth. Hi, Mom. That's the message today. Uh, <laughs> we're Joe Deegan and Pat Chiraki. I'm Larry Kane, and we're standing by for the Aqua String Band. And this could be a controversial presentation and successful as well. We'll find out. Aqua's always different. They come up with uh, really neat themes every couple of years. This may be one of them. Aqua's in the habit. Watch carefully.
Steve Morris and the Aqua String Band, and the band, of course, said that they consulted with some nuns, Joe, prior to the performance to make sure it was in good taste, and they even offered some suggestions, and they were very enthusiastic about the theme. In fact, it's such a great sister act, I think even Whoopi Goldberg would be very proud. They didn't talk to the nuns who taught me in St. Columbus, I know that. I don't know. I know quite a few nuns. I think they'd probably get a big kick out of it. In fact, you know, if they want to offer themselves uh, for charity events, <laughs> I bet there might be a few places, a few churches that might hire them. It could be the rage. <laughs> By the way, we have a breaking development in the midst of this Mummers Parade. Comic Division, order of finish. The Murray Comic Club, number one, once again. Murray was the defending champion last year, and it has once again finished first. Bureau, number two. Good timers, third. And Landy will be happy with a fourth place finish. Liberty, even fifth. And uh, here are the Comic Division captains finish. Mike Ionelli of Murray. They call him Eyes. Tom Ross of Landy in second place. Maybe a surprise there for Tom, and congratulations to Landy. William Wooden Sr. from Good Timers. Chip and, Lotz from Hammond. And uh, Larry Maneri from Puro, and Bill Dunleavy from Liberty. Now, the Comic Division Brigade finish. Uh, invention of the Wheel from the Liberty uh, Division, the Liberty uh, Organization. Plumbers, Plumber Mummers, yep. which we really enjoyed from Good Timers. We did. Uh, we called that. We knew that that would be real high up. And, and, then, to and Tom Earl and his friends at Geppetto's Workshop from the Good Timers. Excellent. Good Timers. We had a great showing. And then from the Floats Division, it's a small world with Good Timers once again. The Dinosaur of the Lehigh Valley. Good timers, and also Circus Comes to Town, Good Timers. So good Timers did a great job with the brigades and the floats. Good time for the Good Timers on this New Year's Day, and uh, just finished the Aqua String Band. And standing by with the captain and the commander, Steve Morris, is Dick Sheeran. Dick? We are with the captain, who's all, all right. decked out as Mother Superior. Yeah. Did you go to Catholic school? Yes, I did. did. Uh, are you going to take a ribbon from the... Your uh, old no, the good sisters from St. Williams up in Longcrest. I hope they love the performance. <laughs> Let's take a look at the uh, replay. How did it feel for you? Oh, great. It's very confident. Very confident. It seemed like it was extra physical for you as captain. It was. It I was. mean, the normal. Yeah, but it, it's the type of music you really get into and you really enjoy doing it. And it's uh, the, the finale song with I Will Follow Him. Right. It was such a moving song and then the audience and everything. Just, you can't help but keep just, moving. Just got you lifted, oh, didn't yes. it? How about the penguin? Why they dynamite? <laughs> Captain, thank you very much. Uh, Great job. Pleasure, Happy man. New Year to you. Happy New Year Good to luck. you and everyone. Thank, thank you. We'll go, we'll go back to the booth. Well, right now, we're live in Philadelphia, but the band that's coming up is heading for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland in March, and we're talking about the Avalon String Band. I think this is kind of fun too. Uh, oftentimes you think that Avalon, that the Avalon was, the band itself was born in the Southern Jersey community that is called Avalon, but it's actually because of a cigarette that was popular at the time that the club was founded, right That's Joe? right, most people do think it's New Jersey, but uh, you have the right story there. Avalon is uh, the, the four band. They've had four fours in a row and uh, they've been in the top 10 the last uh, 10 years since they reorganized and they're trying to go off that four today and get up to one. The There's theme the today? Alakazam. It is. Avalon presents Alakazam with the captain, Michael Patrick Vaughn. Michael is a uh, Springfield, Delaware County police officer. The eighth year leading Avalon up the street. Both his father and brother are also marching in the band. Michael took fifth prize as captain in last year's parade. 67 marches, 50 marshals. Here is Avalon.
this round of applause for the Avalon String Band. Maybe the biggest round of applause we've had so far. I believe so. They sure are a crowd pleaser, and uh, I understand why. They're great. We will have an instant replay coming up right after we take a break as we continue with the 1994 Mummers Parade. We're out of here, too, for a moment anyway. You invited me to lunch. I did? Honey! Cousin Dave's here for lunch! He is? Oh, Ned. Cousin Dave, we got a little problem here. No lunch, huh? Well, we can go to Wendy's. Yes! Luckily, Wendy's has a 99 cent super value menu with delicious junior bacon cheeseburgers, chili, baked potatoes, and biggie fries. And for just $1.99, get our hamburger kids meal. We ought to have lunch here all the time. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Wendy's, you don't pay more, you just get more. If you've waited till now to get a great year-end deal on a new car, you win. Because during the huge holiday happening at your Hyundai dealer, you can get savings up to $1,250 on a 94 Hyundai. While quantities last, buy a brand new 94 Elantra sedan with the driver's airbag for just $92.49 after rebate. Plus, make no down payment and no payments till spring. But hurry, because the huge holiday happening ends January 4th. So for huge savings, no down payment and no payments till spring, see your nearest Hyundai dealer today. Now you can share in the color and excitement of the 1994 Philadelphia Mummers Parade by wearing the official Mummers logo apparel. It's so easy, you don't even have to leave your front row seat. Simply call the operators here at John Wanamakers who are standing by to take your order for the official 1994 Mummers Parade sweatshirts, polos, t-shirts, and caps. This cozy mummer sweatshirt at just $15 is perfect for parade watching or just going casual with class. The stylish polos are a terrific gift idea for just $15, along with these all-cotton t-shirts, yours for only $12. And this 100% cotton twill mummer's hat, tailor-made for weekend softball games or the golf course, is just $10. You can purchase this collector's clothing using Visa, MasterCard, or your gold Wanamaker's charge plate. So start the new year in style by calling 1-800-955-0020. We're back with the 1994 Mummers Parade, a beautiful picture of one of the vistas of Philadelphia, of the Schuylkill Expressway area. And we are still in the um, afterglow, if you will, of the Avalon String Band. Joe, a uh, great performance. Do you think they'll be up there? Was the choreography strong enough? Uh, Avalon will be up there. Uh, they're competitive, and uh, that's what it takes. You must be competitive, and one-third of the bands are always competitive, and it's still subjective. you got to have to please those guys out there with those tape recorders who are taking notes on what's going on. The man of the hour, Michael Patrick Vaughn, the captain, who's standing by now with Dick Sheeran. Dick? We got him, Larry, with his scepter of power, Captain. Nice job out there. Thanks, Dick. How Thanks. did it feel as we look at a replay of your performance that you just did right here on Broad Street? I'll tell you, it felt fabulous. Uh, everything went right the whole way up the street. It was probably the smoothest walk we had at Avalon. And uh, a little wind there towards Center City, but it, it didn't slow the band down. How about the back piece? Did that affect you at all? I mean, uh, not really. You know, it's, you get used to it as part of the job. Now, what about that theme? That was a pretty popular uh, uh, movie this year. Oh, uh, yeah, that was great. I mean, that's an easy one to do. I mean, that's a, my favorite movie I've ever seen, you know, and, and to get to play that part and some of the characters and the music. It was just fantastic. I know all the kids out there are going to love it. Indeed. Thank you, Captain. Congratulations. Happy Thank New Year you, to you. you too. All Thank right. You. We'll go back to the booth. The Krang's Crane String Band is standing in the wings. And they're from Bridesburg, which Aqua and Furco also call home. It is the two street of Northeast Philadelphia. And we are now presenting live the 1994 Mummers Parade. The Crane String Band presents What's Up, Doc?
Dan, finishing seventh last year, certainly trying to improve their position this year with their theme, What's Up Doc? And Ray Wisniewski, who is the captain, he's six years captain. Real trailblazers back in 1976, they were the first string band to admit women, is that right? Uh, That's yeah. true, they were uh, back in the years. Was there a lot of uh, controversy then? Actually, it was handled by the courts before it got to Crane. Uh, <laughs> uh, Crane is really one of the up-and-coming bands. In the past couple of years, they're probably the most improved. They got into the top ten last year, and I feel they'll be there again this year. And right now, Dick Sheeran is uh, standing by with uh, the man behind What's Up, Doc, this year. Well, moving into his area. <laughs> Larry, we're waiting for the doctor. Here, Here he, he comes. comes. Uh, Captain Wisniewski. <laughs> You're the zaniest doctor Look I've seen. Been. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice job. Great. Uh, we're going to re replay a little bit of your performance here. Uh, you might be able to watch the screen there. Uh, you've had a you had a few changes you had to make there. Yes, we did. We did. But we did go. We made perfect day for a parade. Really? Great day for a parade. Did everything go as planned? Every time we did it up the roof, it got better and better. Really? So by the yeah. time you got here to the judges stand, it, it was felt the best. real good. It was the best. Any reason for the theme this year? No, Did you run reason. into any uh, President Clinton's health plan? No, it was nothing to do with Hillary or anything like that. <laughs> Captain, thank Thanks. you very much. Get well, Joe. Get oh, well, Joe. All right, there's a message to Joe, Larry and Pat. Captain, we'll see. All right. That's a happy captain. Oh, it sure is. You know, the um, when you look at the mummers on the street, you know that they do it because it's a really fun hobby for all of them. They come from so many different walks of life. They put together their performances for the viewers at home, as we do here as we sit in the booth and work with all of our wonderful staff with this uh, Mummers Parade production. We received hundreds of cards and letters from our viewers last year, and there were many helpful suggestions that we heard. So we encourage you to drop us a line and let us know what you think of the Mummers Parade and also our coverage. We thank you for that, and you can write to us at the Mummers Parade Productions, 100 Penn Square East, 9th floor, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19107. And we would love to hear from you, even if you're out in Tucson, Arizona. If you're watching in Boston today on the Travel Channel and our live broadcast, uh, Joe Deegan, a lot of these uh, string bands go all over the country. They're going to go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in March. We're talking about the Trilby String, string Band. And the string bands are really traveling these days. A lot of our bands play uh, all through the New England states. It's a way for them to earn money. It's a way to earn money to pay for these costumes you're seeing today. It's quite a big, quite a big expense. Joe, on average, what does a string band have to pull together in order to be able to put a good performance on the street? How much money do they actually need? Forty thousand, fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars for four and a half minutes in the sunshine and the spotlight, and it's certainly a lot of work all year long for the magic moment. And it's the heart's got to be beating right now, right? It's a big moment for everybody in the string band today. Trilby String Band. Here they go.
some hot cats from the Trilby String Band. With their I like that uh, pink Chevy. I guess a pink Chevy. Oh. You, you know, know uh, Trilby reorganized this year. Uh, Ronnie King is the new captain. His first year, and his brother Joe King is the president. Joe we'll be King, back. The president of the band. We'll be back with more on our live coverage right after this. December 91, Ford has the best-selling cars and trucks in America. December 92, history repeats itself. For 93, it's a three-feet of the best sellers at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. There's still time to save on the number one cars and trucks during Ford's best sellers year in clearance. Drive a Ford Taurus for just $2.29 a month. The number one car in America now has dual airbag standard, and that's for just $2.29 a month. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer during the best sellers year in clearance. Hurry it all ends January 3rd. Get 1994 off to a great start with three months of Prism for just 1994. Call 1 800 Cable Me right now for three solid months of great Prism movies and exclusive home team sports action for just $19.94. Plus a free upgrade to Prism, the great two for one channel for less than $7 a month. Three months of Prism for 1994. It's the best deal of the new year. But call 1 800 Cable Me right now because this deal ends this Saturday night. I can take care of myself in the ring, but in my car, I've got to protect a lot more than just my pretty face. Like, George, 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 and George. That's why I trust my brakes to Monarchy. They're experts, so I get high quality service at a low price. Heck, with all these Georges, I can use that extra money for food. Now more than ever, at Monarchy, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Since 1904, the Bellevue has been as much a part of the Mummers Parade as Golden Slippers and Dueling Banjos. 1994 is our 90th anniversary, and your opportunity to see why every occasion is a special occasion at the Bellevue. Starting today, we're offering a limited number of our elegant rooms for just $90 a night. Reserve now by calling 215-893-1776 and see why at 90, the Bellevue is better than ever. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Larry Kane with Pat Chiraki and Joe Deegan, our string band expert and veteran string band member. And we're here at the 1994 Mummers Parade. And we're going to go back out on the street with our pal Dick Sheeran, who is with Ron King from the Trilby String Band. Take yes, a look at the performance. We have the top cat himself, Captain. Great job. Thank you. Take Thank a look at much. the replay of your performance here of uh, kind of a cat theme. Did everything go as planned? Uh, sure did. We worked very hard. We had a lot of obstacles to overcome this year. And uh, the membership really came through for us. And what I'm looking at looks absolutely fabulous. I hope we do well. Oh, great. This is your first year as captain, so that's got to be real. Yeah, great. it is. And I got to tell you, what an honor to work with these people and march in front of them. They're a fabulous group and uh, very good musicians, guys and gals alike. So you sound pretty confident you might have a shot here. Oh, I hope so. We've, uh, from the very beginning of the day, it was just a very good day for us. All right, Cab, congratulations. Happy New Year Thank to you. you. Very much. We'll go back to the booth Happy right now. We'll Thank see you, ya. Dick. When you uh, get off of uh, I-95 northbound on Coppin Avenue and you drive off, you can't miss the headquarters of the next organization, the Greater Kensington String Band, your home organization. This is the second light off of 95, and a magnet draws you there. That's your place, right? It's the, that's where I call home. Greater Kensington String Band. 